Hey you guys, what's up? Hey girl, hey. I said hey girl, hey. <laughs> it is your girl Tosh and welcome back to my channel. So for today you guys, we are finally getting into part two of the Hard Candy X Marilyn series. So today y'all, we gonna play with the entire Marilyn Monroe makeup collection as well as play with the Yellow Effusion Neon Palette that is limited edition by Profusion. So if you are curious to see how these products perform, then girl, just keep watching. Touch me, touch me, touch me, more, more. Why don't 
boy some trouble When he's around my problems seem like double His stupid eyes put me on ice so no more Don't slow me down, don't wanna do this so long Why don't you love me, love me, love me Touch me, touch me, touch me no So this is the final look. I just wanted to share it with you. Um, I'm already starting to have issues with this side cracking just because I used one of these shades over here. It's 
like super sheer and light and I went in too ham with it. I think the top layer kind of fooled me a little bit and I thought it was a jelly kind of a shade like this one. This one's very jelly-like. I don't know if you guys can see those two shades there. So this is like a super shock shadow and you get eight shades in the palette before I forget. Um, this one is called the Yellow Fusion Palette. These are limited edition from Color or Color Pop from Profusion. Um, and they also have an orange one, and this one's called Upbeat Orange. I was feeling this vibe today. So I have, let's see, every color on my lids except for this shade right here. I used some of them to blend. I used this one to blend all the other colors out. I used these two on my lid. I have this in the outer V. I have these three here in my crease. You guys, this was a really fun palette to play with. It is limited edition, so if you are wanting this palette, you do need to grab it ASAP, either at your local Walmart store, which it's gonna be kind of like um, fine, or duck duck goose, honestly, because Profusion only put these at select Walmart stores. Again, they are limited edition. They are available on their website. Um, this was a very fun palette to play with. You do get two shimmer shades. Again, this one is similar to a Super Shock Shadow. This one is more of a shimmer. The rest are matte. They're very powdery, um, just so you guys know. Again, this one I pressed too hard when I went to swatch it. It's kind of like a Super Shock Shadow. And so my problem with my eye look is that I went with this shade first. And instead of blending, it was doing this to me where it's kind of getting a little chunky there. So it kind of ruined my eye look, in my opinion. I kind of wish I would have blended it out like this because it is a beautiful shade. But when I applied it to my eye, it was just a little chunky. Now, I do have wrinkles in my eyes. I'm starting to get older. So if you don't have that problem, it may not be an issue for you. Um, but just know that this one can be a little tricky to play with if you're not ready for the texture. Um, if I was going to do anything over, I would put this shade called Headliner down first, and then I would have put Gnarly over it and just kind of really blended it out. Um, the shades in here are Gnarly, Epic, Headliner, Bro, Blessed, Busy Bee, Safari, and Cliff. And I just had a blast playing with this palette. I think it's kind of a fun look. Now, I'm still working on cut creases. I'm not a makeup artist, you guys. Do not claim to be, so please don't knock my eye look. <laughs> Still working on all that good stuff. Okay, guys, really quickly, I'm going to go over what is on my face with you guys, and then we're going to get into the Maryland collection, because that is why you're all here. All right, so Revolution Baked Illuminator in Peach Lights, one of my faves. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful highlight. And then I did use a little bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte to kind of help blend that last super light yellow shade out. I have a mix of Note Desert Rose and Bare Minerals Gen Nude in that peach, though, for my blush. I did use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey that I'm trying to use up as my cut crease. Um, I had my Beauty Treats Butter Lip Balm in Vanilla Mint on my lips. Super good stuff. I used my Honolulu by W7. This is the dupe for the Benefit Hula Bronzer um, for my bronzer. And then I did a mix of two concealers. I'm using the Age Perfect Radiant Concealer, which I have been living for recently. And then also one of my favorites by Jordana. This is their Take a Cover Concealer, and I use tan. You guys, if you have not seen my first initial video on this concealer, I'm going to leave it up here. You want to check it out. <laughs> All right, guys. So for my base, I actually started to go in with the Pacifica Alight Multi Mineral BB Cream. It's an all-in-one illuminating primer, perfecting finish, shade matching technology. I am going to rock this solo tomorrow. So whatever video I do tomorrow, I'm going to use this because, oh my goodness, it was gorgeous. Now, you guys saw it came out kind of a nudish tint. To me, it looked like my skin tone. And as I was rubbing it into my face, it just made my face look prettier. Well, my skin. It made my skin look prettier and prettier and prettier the more that I was massaging it into my skin. Now, I don't have a pore primer on today, and though I can see my pores, like I'm not mad at the way that my skin looks. 
even on my nose. So this thing is magic. I'm going to rock it and dedicate a half of tomorrow's video in with this, the one that I filmed. So stay tuned for that. This is bomb. So then I've also been really loving my Too Faced Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation Avi. I mean, it's almost empty and I'm so sad. I'm definitely going to have to buy this. It's a long wearing, dew finish, hydrating, and brightening foundation. And it is just such a beautiful formula. And I used a very tiny amount of this. Um, because I loved the way my skin was looking with this. I cannot wait to fully review this for you guys. Um, so then, moving on. I didn't use that. I did go in with my shade adjuster by Physicians of Formula. By Sorry. I used my shade adjuster by Physicians of Formula to kind of deepen this just a little bit because it is a little bit lighter than I like my foundation, but generally in the winter time I can wear that. Alright, so starting off with this Marilyn Monroe collection. We're going to talk about the Starlet Glow Strawberry Face Serum. You guys, this is the bomb. Alright you guys, so this serum was really, really good. It smells amazing. It's strawberry scented, but it's like a sweet candy, but the smell doesn't linger. It's just nice. It's just a nice little treat when you're getting ready to apply your makeup. I would use this as the last stop in your skincare reg before you go into a primer for your makeup. Um, because it does say that it is a face serum. But again, it's really hydrating. It's really, really nice. It says, indulge in Hollywood's best kept secret for radiant skin. The strawberry serum helps to brighten complexion so you can put your best face foot for or your best face forward. It's a tongue twister. It says to apply, dispense one pup onto fingertips and pat onto skin until absorbed. So really, really nice product. You do get a full ounce. I notice a lot of places are going to these droppers and the only thing that I will say for as cute as this thing is, I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but you can't even get a full dropper. And I don't know if it's because they use cheap droppers. I'm not knocking it. I mean, they're putting their products in glass bottles. So, but just know that you would probably use more than one dropper. I surely did. <laughs> All right, guys, moving on to the Hard Candy X Maryland rose drench toner and refresher this has hyaluronic acid and rose water which help to hydrate and plump the skin you do get uh 2.5 full ounces i love the pink cap i kind of wish this was pink but i mean you really can't complain it is plastic and this says rose drench refresher spray helps to moisturize and plump skin for a glow from within use as needed to keep skin looking fresh all day so you can put this on um, at the end of your skincare routine, like you would put this on after this, um, you could use this to probably prime your skin if you're just wanting that hydration. And then you could use this to refresh your face throughout the day as well. Moving on to the next Marilyn X Hard Candy product. This is the Starlet Glow Dry Shimmer Oil. Same thing. This is a glass bottle with the dropper on it. This product is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I used mine here, and I showed you guys how my skin was shimmering. Um, so, I think this is really pretty. It's very a very thin formula, and it just kind of, it just rubs right into the skin. Like, I'm trying to see. I think that the sparkles that are on here are probably from all the sparkly powder that I used. I can't attest to that, so I am going to wear this on my legs and stuff, like when it gets warm out. Um, you know, because I like to glow. Y'all know I like to glow. And then I'll be able to tell you guys once I, you know, test it all the way through if it transfers or not. I would think it's going to transfer. Um, but I do think it's a really pretty product. You get a ton of product in here. I don't even think somebody would finish this unless they used it like all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? But it's very, very beautiful. If you're looking for that nice kind of glow from within all over you, like your chest, your is it decliche because everybody says it different <laughs> if you want to put it on your shoulders you could even use this on your face and like pat 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 like on your cheeks and high points and stuff if you're doing like a more natural look so very beautiful product though the next product that i used is the airy body it's a luminizing light airy body powder with rosehip oil and this is sparkling strawberry now both her powders smell like sparkling strawberry they smell so good but it's not overpowering you know like for example what would one be hmm 
Cody Airspun. It's not like that. These are very finely milled. And again, they do give a nice little sheen to the skin. Just very pretty for an overall dewy glow. To me, without being too much. And I noticed when I was doing my makeup and stuff, I don't feel like all that stuff stuck to my skin. Right now, I have foundation here. And I get really messy. <laughs> but, um... It's just really light and airy and beautiful on the skin. It just gives you a beautiful glow. I did try to use this as my highlight, but I wasn't really feeling it because it's just such a light shimmer. I mean, it really wasn't giving me what I was looking for. So it is nice for the body, though. You guys, I apologize for my voice. Like, I keep taking drinks, and it's just not helping. I don't know if I'm getting sick or what. All right. So the lip balm. Um... <sighs> I could have taken this or left it, you know what I mean? Take it or leave it. Um, the packaging's gorgeous. I do love the packaging. It's some kind of really hard, like, cardboard material. Um, so that's cool. It's recyclable. It does have all of her beautiful logos and stuff on it, like the rest of the packaging. This one's in strawberry. Yeah, and it's, it's lightly tinted. It's nothing really major. So, like, if you were wanting to give this to your preteen or even younger because she liked Marilyn or whatever, there's really not much tint to this. You do get quite a bit of product, and it smells amazing. It smells better than the Strawberry by Chapstick, and as a kid, I thought that was bomb. But, yeah, it's just a cute little product. It also comes in, what is it, coconut? Some, coconut Rose. I don't know how I'd feel about rose on my lips. I don't know. I might try this one, but I think I'm going to collect it. But nice. I will definitely carry this in my purse for a little more hydration. Moving on to the loose, um, airy, or translucent sparkling strawberry powder. I was not expecting to like this at all. Um, I really wasn't. Um, this is supposed to give you, like, a more radiant glow. I did feel that it gave me a sheer glow to the skin. Um... It's nice and finely milled. It smells like strawberry. But I just, I'm really floored and kind of speechless right now because I really was not expecting to like this at all. Just because I'm so picky when it comes to face powders. Like, I thought I was going to put this on my face and it was just going to make me look really dry and creepy, and it didn't. Um, so I think this is a really nice powder, hard candy, if you're listening. Please make regular powders like this in your line. Like, don't discontinue this formula it is so beautiful on the skin you guys and it's just so lightweight <laughs> i also went in with her eye pencil and i followed that up with the fiber eyes or fiber brow gel that i showed you guys in my heart candy video which you should be watching today anywho this is a really nice brow pencil when i first started out using it um it did not glide as good as it does now now as you can see looking at that it's more of a drier formula it's not like the other creamy ones that i'm used to but i mean i will definitely use it it's a nice micro tip um and it does really give you those hair like strokes so i mean i could have taken or left this as well um i just like it because of the packaging so i'm going to continue to use that up now, the eyeliners. I was a little disappointed by the rose gold one just because it wasn't as pigmented as the other ones. And, I mean, so this one I could have taken or left. I mean, I might use this for, like, inner corner and maybe, like, on those days where I'm not going to wear eyeshadow and I could just draw a little rose gold line. I think that would be pretty. But if you're trying to get it for um, the just the sheer fact of, like, having a rose gold eyeliner, I would definitely look at L'Oreal instead. <laughs> the other two, this one I should have did a double swatch for you guys, which I can do right now, because I think this one's more pigmented than it let on. Like, yeah, it is. See, much more pigmented. Now, it does look a little patchy. It is drying down kind of like a blue with, like, glitter in it. Metallic, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this one's kind of nice. This one's called Glitter Liquid Eyeliner. I don't see where it says blue. Anywho, there's a little thing in here so you can shake it up. But yeah, it's kind of drying down like metallic or chrome. I apologize, you guys. I cannot talk today. The black one's very nice. Um, this is just a regular um, liquid liner. This does not have glitter in it. I don't know if this dries down matte. It does not say that it is matte. So I would assume that this probably has like a small sheen to it even though it doesn't state that. <laughs> it is nicely pigmented, though, as you guys saw earlier. I did go in with the Dare to Extend Ultimate Lash Extension Mascara, as well as this one. It's uh, Pixie by Petra. It's the Lash Lift. 
And then for on my lips, I have the Syrup Kiss Lip Stain in the shade Rose Kisses. This is really pretty, kind of like a bubblegum pink, but I really like this. And generally, I don't like a lot of pinks on me, but I thought the pink would go better than the more um, wineish color. What is this? This one is in Signature Red. So overall, as a collection, I think it is a super cute collection. I think if you're looking for hydration, these are two super affordable products that do a nice job of hydrating your skin. I wish they would keep this stuff in their line. I really do. I, I just, I really like those. The stains, I'm loving so far. You guys already know how I feel about the liners, but they're not a bad product. Um, this, I think, is super cute. Again, if you're wanting that Olo. Why can I not talk today? This product I would buy. So these three I would definitely buy. I probably would buy the black liner even though I don't use them a lot. But Kiss Stains for sure. I would have bought the lip balm. I would have bought the powders. And I'm glad that um, I have them. So I do still have some other stuff over here. But it's just repeats of what I already have. This is the stuff I'm actually collecting. So just to put it out there for you guys, there are two shades in the brow pencils available. They have a light medium and medium dark. For the Syrup Kiss lip stains in the Marilyn Monroe collection, there's only two shades. There's Signature Red and Rose Kisses. But in Hard Candy's normal line, they have a whole new line of these lip stains. And I'm telling you, this feels like a lip balm on my lips. And I'm hoping that as it wears away, it just kind of leaves a nice... A nice little stain just like that very nice again you guys I will do a more dedicated video on this product here so stay tuned for that overall I hope that you guys enjoyed the Marilyn Monroe products as much as I did have you purchased any of them if you did let me know down below if you did how did you like them do you did you think it was a gimmick or do you think that they are worth the money if you are going to be purchasing any of the Marilyn Monroe products please comment down below and let me know which one you just can't go without I'm very, very curious. All right, guys, so as far as the Profusion palette, do I think you need it? If you're someone that really enjoys yellow, this would be a, a great palette for you as well. Um, they are super affordable. Again, you guys, they are only $5. Don't forget before you shop at Profusion, you guys, there is always, always a discount code. It is non-affiliated. I reached out to Profusion when I first started my channel and asked them for a discount code for you guys. So they did provide me with a 10% off discount code for you. It is down in the shop with me online section. So if you picked this up, you can save 10% off of it. You don't have to buy any certain limit, so that's cool. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are. I love you guys to pieces, and I love you to the moon and back. Bye, guys.